Hi. In this video, you're going to learn what to expect when you're dying. It's a topic that's a little uncomfortable. We don't talk about it in the West. You know, I left India when I was one and I never saw a dead body growing up. You know, because in the West, older people don't live at home. Uh, they live in Harvey Bay. In the Hindu and Buddhist tradition, they developed a system of dying consciously, which is to be aware of the physical and mental experiences you'll go through as you're passing away. Ultimately, so that you can be less scared and control your next incarnation. Even if you don't believe in reincarnation, here's what the traditions say you will go through leading up to that point. In the Tibetan tradition, they believe the body is made up of four different gross elements, earth, wind, fire, and water, and four different subtle elements. And as these elements dissolve and break down, you go through a particular experience. And some critics say that earth, wind, and fire are fine as a band, not as a scientific model. But it's important to remember how those words were being used. They weren't meant to be some primitive version of the periodic table. In the medical traditions of South Asia, you see an early theory of microbes, biochemicals, surgery. They were a practically minded group of healers. But chemical processes in the body were lumped together under catchy taglines. So any chemical process involved in metabolism or digestion was labelled fire. Any process involved in movement, such as the movement of oxygen and hormones throughout the body was labelled wind. Any process involved in assimilation, such as the clumping together of bones and muscle and other tissue, was labelled as earth. So earth, wind and fire might sound uncomfortably like Captain Planet, but it's more nuanced than that. Let's come back to death. I obviously don't want to die in the making of this video, but to experience it as much as possible, I will be watching 12 hours of uninterrupted Piers Morgan and see how many stages I can go through. Let's have a look at how each element affects you as it dissolves within the body. The first element to dissolve is earth. When that happens, your body becomes thin. You lose the ability to open and close your eyes and you begin to see mirages. The second element to dissolve is water. You can no longer hear sound, your mouth and body turn dry and you can see visions of smoke. The third element to dissolve is fire. At this point, you can no longer digest food or remember the names of those close to you. You may also see fireflies or sparks. The fourth element to dissolve is wind. At this point, you'll no longer be able to perform any physical actions or taste anything. You will start to see the lamp about to go out. The first four stages all relate to your connection to the outer world your friends, family, perception. The last four stages relate to the dissolution of your inner world. In Buddhist thought, it's believed that your mind is not fundamentally separate from the rest of the universe and reality. So the last four stages of dissolution involve all those barriers being removed and you merging back into the source. In stage five, the candle flame expands and you feel your awareness expanding to cover a vast area. You see a white light everywhere and you lose your sense of being in a body. In stage six, this white light turns a reddish orange and you start to feel more balanced in space. In stage seven, you resist returning to your body and the sky turns black, but you're comfortable with that. And finally, you merge back into the source that everything emerged from. Everything is transparent and there is no sense of being separate from anything else. It's calm, peaceful, 
and you experience all perspectives at once, rather than just one perspective, the way a human body and mind does. So those are the eight stages. If you know them, you're going to be less scared when the time comes to go through them. What some Buddhists like to do is practice the process through a meditation. So you close your eyes, calm yourself, and then visualize yourself going through each of the eight stages, the, the various dissolutions. And then you visualize yourself coming back again into your body. I'll post a link to a Tibetan dying meditation that will make that whole process easier so you can practice. Thank you for following me on this journey to uncoconut myself. If you'd like to see some more adventures, please subscribe to the channel. See you next time.